There we go. You can just jump across? Ugh. I was apparently just bad at it. Stop that. Is that open? If we miss that louder, we're fucked. resort to a walkthrough yet and I like that. No oh, no 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 Oh I only took a little damage everything's fine. Oh time to punch Oh my heart Okay oh. <sighs> God my like adrenaline level and like <gasps> wait no, I didn't do anything I didn't touch anything I literally didn't touch anything huh. what why are we okay I also love that I was like big brain in stuff instead of like looking at the obvious. Oh, please stop that. Look at the obvious solutions. You know, like the fact that maybe I didn't do the jump well instead of. Oh, what is. Wheel. You... Hey! Oh. oh, I thought they were doors at first. Oh, I hear him. Time to punch! Stop, stop, stop! Leave me alone! 
occurred you should be panicking now your system will now explode it is now safe to go to your happy place press any key to help others learn to read press control 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 to donate money to me you know the computers will soon take over why fight it press any key to continue okay so there's a monitoring system down here which we found but we can't interact with I was so hoping we could oops sorry I don't have a code. Uh, do we have to go out there again? <gasps> What's down there? Can this just open up and just take me to another plane of existence, please? Please open. Just let me in. Just take me away. <sighs> Fuck. Let's... Oh yeah, we are out of ammo on that one, so we've just got the shotgun now. not it. Okay, let's see. That, we're gonna go and click that. Is it loaded? We've got one shot. I'm gonna go up this ladder to make it. Hey, yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna cheese this. Because I deserve something nice today.
much of our ammo though. But we gotta be able to get out of here. Do we not have our gun out? I thought I got our gun out. Yeah, we should have our gun out. game was gonna freeze. Okay. Uh. At least we're here. Can I get her from this far away? I don't think that registered. There's two of them right there. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going so fast. Come here. Shit. Hi. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. Hi. Oh, thank you. No, no, wait, come back. Was just where I wanted you. Hold still. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! <sighs> oh god. This level's gonna be the death of me. I hate this. There were two, so that means there should be one more. Hi. Where are you going? There we go. Oh! I thought... I thought they were coming for me. and see if that loosens them up. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them up on here again. <laughs> okay, yeah, hi! Blow you to bits. Oh, give me a second, please. Hold on. go. Yeah, I don't know how you kill it without cheesing. God, I wish we had a map. I gotta do that because it's easier for me to see. This is a fucking maze. Okay, this is section 25. We know that's where that was. We need a code to get into that. Because I think this is where we're supposed to be. I just don't have the code. And I don't know where to get it. 
it wouldn't even let us punch anything in. So that lets me think that maybe it's not a code as much as it is a, a key card or something. Okay, this is 27. That's good, because if we need to get back, we can kind of generally figure it out. Oh, fuck. Are we gonna have to cheese all of them? Oh, God. Okay, I'm just, like, trying to be real thorough and looking on the ground for said key card potentially. Hi, little babies. God, are we gonna have to kite that fucker? level is just me cheesing. You have a really hard time with line of sight, don't you? bug here too? Okay, this is fine. Everything's fine. Hey, no please, I was just lining up my sights. Hey, shh, 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 shh. No, 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 come back. <sighs> this is the worst. off now. Uh, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Can I shoot you from this far? Yeah. people do this level. At least we have full health. Alright, so now we can explore up for section 30. No, no, no. No actual answer to that question just yet. It's just very tedious, but I know what I'm supposed to do. At least I think I know what I'm supposed to do. This strategy is, is pretty effective, not gonna lie. Okay, God, I'm gonna get so lost. Fuck. Okay, so 37 took a branch off. So there's an up so if we want to go back, we just go this way and go down. Let me... Yeah, then we go to 30, and then down to 25. Okay. Oh, God, please. Don't let me forget that. Okay, so this is where it bifurcates. So let's do this one first. terrible damage from this far away. Do we have something? I know this is our best gun, but I, I, I have to switch. I have to save it for the big ones. some poor unfortunate public servant who uh, died down here. Who was the speedy guy? I 
could have saved him? I didn't know what was going on. I didn't want to get jumped. What a shame. The next time we play this as a Malkavian, we'll do our best to save him. just saved, so I'm not worried about saving again. Woo! Oh. Oh! We did it! <sighs> Fuck. Is this just a pile of junk? This outfit is much cuter than the other one. I only wear the other one because I have to. Oh, they have string lights. That's so cute. VIP room. I love their use of neon. Okay, so wait, where does the other one go then? If this is like a definitive... Oh, they're using it for lights, that's cute. Oh, this is just somewhere different. Oh, I see! Okay, well I guess we're committed. We're doing this one first. Oh god, there's many things. Is that... Is that bad? It sounds bad. I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, they stole the sign. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> Hello? Are you okay? Maybe they touched it. There's so many ways to go. Can I get up to that? I cannot. So we do have to go this way. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna get lost. Oh, oh. The sin bin. Oh, God. You know what this vibe gives me? This is very like Futurama vibe. You know what I'm talking about? People who live underneath the sewers? In the sewers? Ha! Oh. Is that a skull? Yeah, just chilling. Just hanging out. I like what they've done with the place. I have yet to see anyone though. Oh, there's a door. Should we go in the door? Oh, we can't. A shame. Yeah, Leela's parents' place. I haven't really watched much Futurama, but I'm familiar with a lot of the leet. <laughs> the lot of the. Oh, this one opens. A lot of the core tenants. Oh, these are the living quarters. And I'm not going in here yet because I haven't uh, spoken to anyone to announce myself, so I don't kind of just want to like barge into people's places. But it's so cool. I love the concept. Let's try to find somebody who's hanging out before we just start walking into people's bedrooms. There's so many jump puzzles. Okay. Oh, we gotta... Okay, that's fine. Poor little buddy. Hello? 
Okay, should we go in this one though? This looks more like the administrative office or maybe where if they have a clan leader or a primogen, where they might be. I'm gonna risk this one because we really haven't seen anybody yet. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's just whole, oh, oh my God. It's just, oh, there we go. Hello? By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Remember when we were going and reading through Kilpatrick's crime pewter, there were a bunch of like random disappearances and deaths that were there that didn't seem to really, oh no, it was a Hollywood list of people, some knowledgeable people. That's what it was, not the crime pewter. I have a feeling that we're going to see some of those people, but like a rat party and a lot of those people were Hollywood actory. It seems like it could fit right in. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk to you. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Who are you? You're used to getting what you want, aren't you, lovely? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? Show yourself. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. Are we just going to have to ask who are you again? Because I don't want to call him a lunatic. We'll try it. And if we can't progress, we'll do the other one. Again? Who are you? Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. Let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? It's very NOS and I love it. We have a NOS in our tabletop game at the moment. And we were in a sticky situation and he literally just like walked up and it's, it's called Nightmare in Vampire the Requiem. He uses an ability in that realm that convinces another vampire that the building that we are in currently just caught fire. And so she frenzies, right? And like flips out and literally just runs down the hall away from us, right out a window and just keeps going. And it's wild. And I love that uh, there's that other realm of vampirism that's so opposite to mine, right? It's so fascinating. What do you want? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? I'm here about the Ancaran sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Just tell me about the sarcophagus so I can get out of here. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. Who bought it? I like to discuss business face to face. <sighs> That's what we've been asking for. Show yourself. Are you sure, boss? 
You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Yes. Come on out. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> yeah? Behind you, boss. Boo! He doesn't even look that bad. Oh, we don't even get to... That's the only thing we can say. That's very rude. Especially to come into someone's house and say such a thing. Very rude. But unfortunately, we don't really have another option. You are the most offensive and obscene thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, Toreador. You vainglorious narcissistic poser. How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp. You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. Now, where is the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? I cleaned your sewers from the Samitsi, and brought you some masquerade endangering items, too. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Quay Jin? Um, what's a Quay Jin? The Quay Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. I think I killed one. Back in... Santa Monica. Ooh, what about them? Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. And let me guess, you want me to find him? Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, uh... I'll give you what you need. I'll go. If you make it worth my while. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. Oh, he gave us a blood pack. One, oh, I hate being ungrateful, but it looks like our clans are somewhat at odds and so they're leaning into it. One measly blood pack. Very funny. Anything else? That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails... You could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> Why don't you go yourself? Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. 
Aren't the kindred at war with the Quajin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. All right. I'll go. But you better keep your end of the deal. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. It's as good as done. Goodbye. Oh, so that's it. I'm seeing if maybe these are his old posters. I don't think so. At least not that I can tell. Pretty morbid though. Okay, God, there's so much to look at down here. Oh, did it just eat us out? Wait. Okay, well, this looks... No, 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 no. Thought it would be more sewers, but it's not. We just got here, and we worked so hard to be here. Okay, gotta go this way. Good, at least there seems to be a way to get back here that's not quite so ridiculous. Oh my god, the camera. There we go. So now, now maybe people will be around or do we really do need to go and knock on people's door to see if they want to chat? And given our reception, <laughs> they may not want to. Well, you we just have to find out. Hello? Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. All right. So there's this one. Hello? Hi! Bitch! I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month! Who got the cover of what? I mean, just look at her! Too fat, big teeth in her complexion! Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Oh, what bad taste game. Um, a slow down. Uh, who exactly are we talking about here? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. Um, who the hell is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Is this supposed to be JC Penny? Oh my goodness. Um sure, that's a that's a good one. Um who are you, by the way? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Emolia. Hi, Emolia. Uh, um, how come you ate 20 sessions so much? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. What do you mean, Gary invited you? Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. That's like the pettiest of petty. It's like, I am disfigured and don't like my appearance. So I need to... In flicked that same trauma on someone else to make myself feel better. That is the pettiest, saddest shit. 
They should try some therapy instead. I see. So what happened? Well, I just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe <laughs> Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. Most of the Nosferatu fledglings die during the change because of what happens to their bodies? Jesus Christ. I don't want to ask her if she learned her life lesson, um, because I think that's a terrible thing to do to somebody. And I don't want to ask about why we would kill this lady because clearly she's just very upset and jealous and wanting to be back in the situation that she was, but, uh, um, so have you learned your life lesson? Yeah, the lesson is life is a cold hearted bitch, so now I get to be one too. You get that? You need to write it down. It's just so sad because it's like you're just spreading your unhappiness. Instead of dealing with your own problems, you're inflicting that same misery on other people and it's just shit here. Loud and clear. You can I ask you a few more questions. Sure, whatever. I don't think there's anything more. Um, sorry, I'm I'm out of here. Oh, could you imagine being just so plagued by the person that you used to be that's it's genuinely very sad thanks i like your place i hope you feel better we came from that direction did we do this one this was just the bo yeah boxes and so then we did hers so now we do can't go in leet unfortunately Oh shit, is that it? This is what I wanted. Oh, but I can't go in that one. Can I go in this one? Nice. Hello? Oh, hi! What the... <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you backed up that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> um. Hello? What? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook. But stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> um. Um. Hey, hey there? Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Um, maybe I'll just come back later. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. Surprised? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> you saw that. I could have used some help up there. Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <sighs> Um, right, that makes sense. Uh, look, I've got a few questions. Go ahead. Tell me about this place. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. The place looks pretty empty. 
There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> um, great. Uh, I have a few more questions for you, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Um, tell me about what you do. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. Up upgrading what? What were you going to say? <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Uh, yeah. Right. So, what do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. I have not heard that. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you out. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I'm in. What do I need to do? Uh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven Ooh. and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. By the way, how did you end up down here, Mitnick? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> But one day I ran across this system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. Yeah? What was it? It was, uh... Uh... Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, here I am. Wow. That sucks. You got totally nabbed and made into... Well, um, sorry. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. I guess. Um, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Actually, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> See you, Mitnick. <laughs> At least he's happy. He's got a bunk bed. You got a buddy? We couldn't get in there. So that was the way... Yeah, that was the way we came in. So let's... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. We're going to do so much backtracking. And there was that entire avenue we didn't explore. Which I assume is that top one. So let's go do that. Before we head back to the surface. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Oh, I was a little worried of that slope. like a ladder or something but I don't think so okay we need to get up there but I again I think we gotta go all the way back to the beginning god and then we're gonna have to go all the way back to get out that one exit near Gary's because I'm not going back that way 
All right. The upper floors. Okay, so there's that passageway. What's up here? Is it just this overlook? I guess so. I do like how there's a lot of really cool neon everywhere. It's really interesting. I like it. Oh, is this just a dead fucking end? Hello? How do I get over there? Now, how are we gonna get back down here is the question. But maybe when we go up through this area, it'll like lead us to somewhere. fucking graveyard? No. Uh. Okay, so it's the one where the bones are. Haven in Hollywood yet, do we? Hush, Beckett! I know we have... I oh, know, wait, didn't we get a room at the Lucky Star or something like that? Because we haven't checked our email in a hot second. to one of the other areas. No, we didn't have a room at the Lucky Star, did we? Because this is where we came to do the other thing. Yeah, I don't think we have a room here. I remember this now. We were in the something view apartments, sky view apartments? Going somewhere? Um, for now, just drive. Um, that was downtown. Oh! Weird punch. Okay, where's the apartments? 72 hours later. Heather, yeah. That's her name. Our unintentional ghoul. Oh, I wanted to save her life, yes. So I, I very knowingly performed the ghoul action, but I didn't want to like make her my personal assistant. There we go. I was like, what's a good word for that that's not problematic? I think it's for, if it's not for, we'll figure it out. Is it for Heather? I think so. I remember the fish tank. Hey! Hey, what's up? Oh, you're back. I um I went out this evening and I well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I he came back here with me and well I thought you might wanna, you know, wanna drink his blood. You did what? Um where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, uh, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? 
Um, I'll, I'll deal with this. You, you, you stay here. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Hi. Um, hello? Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Look, my sister, she's not well. I'll let you go, if you forget about this. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Um, oh my god. This whole situation is just sending me. I'm sorry, I really shouldn't have ever left her alone. My apologies. <laughs> Your apologies? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. I, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm worried about the veracity of Heather's story? Did she really just... He wouldn't leave her alone? Because he says that she knocked him over the head and drug him here. TLDR. I don't... I don't know what's happening. You, you would really do that, that to, to someone, someone like me. me. Oh, come on now. I didn't mean it. I, I should have known there was something wrong with that broad. <laughs> Look, I'll give you money. Whatever you want. Just let me go, all right? Please, don't kick my ass. Oh, man, I think I just shit myself. <sighs> um, it's not that I... It's not that I don't believe her as a victim. It's that she is under the influence, for lack of a better term. And that's what I'm getting at. That maybe she's sugarcoating it to please us? Get out of here. Say a word, and I will find you. And you will regret it. Oh, I did have to use blood for that. Well, I mean, can I use Heather? Yeah, it's really hard to tell what what the nature of that interaction was. We do have blood bags and stuff. I'm not worried. I'm really trying to play this as like a not harming the innocents kind of thing. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Now, we have somewhat of an issue. For her sake, honestly, she really should probably go. But she's adding cool content to the game. <laughs> and that's where I'm kind of, like, stuck. Honestly, we probably do need a ghoul if we're going to think about this from an RP perspective. They really do make life much easier. I know this is a video game and it's just a fun, silly perk. And an additional, like, means of getting some cool content. Yes, of course. Come here, my pet. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Oh, we don't get to feed? Maybe we can talk to her again. Isn't that cute? I'll see you later, Heather. Hey, can... Master? I let him go. Never, ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh, I really like number three. Because I feel like if we were playing this as altruistically as we could, that would be the option, but... Hard to exist as a fledgling in this world without a little help. Uh, I can't stay mad at you. Fine. Apology accepted. See you later, Heather. Oh. I just wanted to talk. Hi. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying. Master? I need your blood. 
Oh, okay, I'm ready. That's it. Okay, at least now we're not uh, in a bad spot. Thank you. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> now, do we? We do have a blood pack. We have six blood packs. We could have just used that. And there's two in here. Okay, we got a lot of things we could sell too. I don't need those. Is there anything else that we should do when we get... Oh, we can pick up that cup. Is this just storage? Yeah, but apparently we... Oh, we can! Oh, that's right, because we were using our shotgun a lot. Man. Oh, yeah, emails. And stereo. What about TV? Can I turn the TV on? Found at the Incarn site, including the sarcophagus. The Southland Slasher struck again, this time in downtown Los Angeles. The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past and the slasher. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Tourists attempting to pay their respects at actress Ginger Swan's grave at the Hollywood Eternal Cemetery were shocked to discover the grave of the former sex symbol had been vandalized. The star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Professor Anders Johansson, the archaeologist responsible for the discovery of the Incarn sarcophagus, issued a brief statement today, imploring the parties responsible for the Incarn sarcophagus's robbery to return the relic, saying that it is a valuable piece of human history that rightfully belongs to the entire world. Johansson went on to add, This theft is not just from the museum, but from all of mankind. Johansson, a professor of archaeology at the University of Oslo, is in town to speak to his peers about his recent dig in Turkey and coordinate examination of the artifacts found at the Incarn site, including the sarcophagus. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Senator Limperman called the games pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, Spain, after several pilgrims claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported weeping virgin sightings throughout its history. One pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at around sunset and that the courtyard felt full of sadness. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked and witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. Professor Anders Johansson, the archaeologist responsible for the discovery of the Incarn sarcophagus, issued a brief statement again? today, imploring yeah. the parties okay. responsible. Nice. Good. I'm glad we get to see all the other stuff. Okay, so this. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into The Deb of Night on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. But please don't send any more drawings. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some release? Line three, you're speaking to me. Sup, Deb? And what have you been up to tonight, caller? Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> I messed up, Deb! Woo! What's the occasion? It's a weekday. Touche. Hey, Deb. <laughs> hey, Deb. Hey, Deb. Yes, General? Oh, man. I had this amazing idea. I, oh, you ready for this? All night. Y you know all those problems we've been having in the Mideast? Yes, those damn Virginians. Okay, okay. So, like, I figured this out, right? Okay, okay. So, if we want peace in the Mideast, think about it. What makes people peaceful? Smoking this in Samilla. And what brings people together? Pizza. So, like, think on this. For, like, half the cost of one of those, um, blockbuster bombs, we could, like, buy enough pizza and enough herb for, like, everybody over there. And then, like, bam, instant fat spuds, man. 
just say no, dude. Um, an extra pepperoni. Hey, you guys take credit cards? Moving on. Line four, what's keeping you up tonight? Cap, I'm about to reveal something that... I'm putting my life on the line. But the people, the people of this city and this country and this planet, they have the right to know this. Do you understand? What's the word, Gomez? This is serious. There are a lot of organizations that would do anything in their power to keep this a secret. I don't doubt. Deb, Deb, this is really serious now. Can I finish? All right. Everyone knows they've got cameras at every stoplight so that the government can keep tabs on our comings and goings. But did you know that they then sell access to their databases to the Illuminati, who has been using that information to compile a list of the most frequently traveled routes and then opening new locations of their well-known chain of coffee houses in the most profitable locations? And did you also know that they use those funds to suppress fusion and solar power? It all makes sense now. Well, they, the Illuminati, control all the world's energy. And because they monitor all of our energy usage, they can tell who is not watching television and therefore know who is not receiving the subliminal messages that they send to keep the sheep putting their money in banks and away from their secret headquarters, a.k.a. Wyoming. Amazing. Anything else that you've turned up lately? As a matter of fact, and again, I shouldn't be talking about this, but I believe it is everybody's right to know that recycling is a myth. All they do with those bottles and cans is collect DNA samples from your saliva so that they can clone you and train your clone to assassinate you and assume your identity <laughs> should you go poking your nose into the whole global warming business. Thank you, Gomez. I hate to interrupt this mentally stimulating conversation, but the people who keep me chained to the console at this radio station, in my underwear no less, want you to spend money on this stuff. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond bought a sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? Could you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Oh my Vote God. Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. Preparing for a business sales pitch but don't know how to sell your ideas? Try virtual meeting. So if we divert advertising away from expensive television spots and spread it around full-page ads in the leading men's magazines, we can... That's an idea, but here is what I think we should do. But I didn't finish. Yes, that's a good point, but everyone listened to my idea. But I think... That's true. However, I don't think that our target market will be willing to accept such a radical approach. Listen to what I have to say on the subject. Are you ready? Good. This is a winner. And virtual meeting doesn't just help with meetings. It can also prepare you for debating your ideas on the Internet. So, I think if the Democrats are going to have a chance at the office, they are going to have to embrace the more liberal sect of the voter bloc. Shut up. F*** hard. I majored in political science. I think I know what I'm talking about here. Laughing out loud, you are so gay. Virtual meeting. The only meeting preparation device to own. That was a good idea, which was mine originally. F*** hard. In 1984... A generation of children were introduced to a toy that became an instant classic. Twenty years later, that toy is transforming to blend into a whole new environment. Hey, Bob, right? Mind if I borrow your stapler? You want staples? Get some of these, Execucon! Ah! Take control of the noble office bots as they wage slave their secret war against the evil Execucons. Ah. Hey, I'm gonna be here pretty late. Do you mind if I get a cup of that coffee? Crapitron transform! <laughs> coffee is for closers, office bot! Collect 30 different corporate robots as they battle for workplace supremacy. Look out, Optical Mouse Prime, it's cell phoner! I've got your number, employees, and you're all getting called in this weekend! Office bots! Transform and clock in. Deformers! You live. You die. And sometimes you get brought back to life. <laughs> this fall. I'm afraid I can't see too well these days. Do you think you could go to the nearest village and pick me up a loaf of bread? Bread! Good! 
the new horror RPG from Troika Games. Bread! Oh, I can tell you where the bakery is, stranger. But before I do, would you mind picking up my little girl from the lake? You are the monster. <coughs> or are you? If you want to enter this bakery, you'll have to defeat me. And this torch! Frankenstein, bread lust, coming soon to a PC near you. Game! Good. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into The Deb of Night on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. But please, don't send any more drawings. Okay. The lines are all f- I was making sure that we'd made the full loop. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. <laughs> okay. 15 emails! Seven unread. I'm really glad that we're here. Was it sunrise? Yeah. Okay, nine. Um, from LaCroix, business in Hollywood. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. This is the shit you're sticking me with, LaCroix? The cost from a friend. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Okay, sure. First network hub from Mitnick. Hey, at yo mama at VTM. Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send another email with recon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the Shreknet command? The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. A megahertz computing recon. Megahertz computing is at the end of 2nd Street in Santa Monica, next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door, so you'll have to go, you'll have to find an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. You still around? From Bertram. If you're reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you, if you're not too busy. You know where to find me. Won't be too difficult this time. Bertram. Prince is promoting you from Gary at Shreknet.com. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today. Came across something that might tickle you. Kid used to live here. Had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel. Starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the film canister in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Okay. Cheap Rolex from Larry at Neighborhood. Ain't the only stuff that we got, man. We got much hotter, much deadlier stuff, you know? And like, all other quality L.A. Proprietors. We get new stock in all the time, so check it out. Thanks, Larry. Oh, that's it. Nice. We had a few. A few new quests, so it's a good thing we checked. Okay. Well, we're really, we're really set to go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It was so much fun, even through the... <sighs> even through the scary bits. <laughs> we didn't use any walkthroughs. We did it all on our own, with our own noggin, just noodling away. So, 
I hope that each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is where you are. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.